Hey everyone, it is Lori. Um, Sage just came in and totally disrupted everything. Got pine sap all over your, me, everything. Um, so I had to stop the video. I'm not going to go back and redo it. I do want to point out that you have strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Capricorn, or no, Cancer, and Scorpio. Virgo is your strongest energy here. And I still have pine sap on my fingers. All right, so in the recent past, I have you with a Fool card, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Your decision here in the recent past, no further than a month back, concerning this relationship with between you and them, okay, whoever's on your mind, you were ready to take a leap of faith. You were feeling financially secure, but you also felt like you were going to have to leave something behind because... Um, you're holding this wand. You've made up your mon, mind, okay, two of wands. You've made up your decision, but you're holding the world off to the side as if there's things that you're just going to have to put aside that you're never going to be able to enjoy, do, follow, whatever. Like the sun is setting on those things if you pursue this relationship, okay? Your person over here has the ace of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the ten of wands. And I'm hearing and seeing this as your person wants a fresh start here. They're ready to build something um, solid. However, they, they, they definitely have some boundaries. They have some rules, some regulations, because they do not want to carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. Okay, they, they do not want to go there. They have learned their lessons in the past, and they're ready to put the burdens down. Okay, now you in the combined energy between the two of you, had the two of swords. Here you are keeping the blinders on, not admitting to yourself what it would mean to you to give up those things. Okay. You're, you're willfully keeping the blinders on. Now your person got the king of wands here, passionate, ready to take the lead, um, fiery. Okay. In control. Um, maybe a little emotional, maybe a little too passionate, it's kind of hard to say it in this energy right now. Between the two of you, there are some turbulent waters, but you're both emotionally satisfied. You're talking to each other, okay? But you're still denying something here. You're still not willing to accept something here. And you can see there's rocky, wavy water here going right into this King of Cups. So it does have something to do with things that, emotional things, things that matter to you. Okay, and you're looking back at yourself, holding that world off to the side and questioning whether you should be doing this or not. All right, but it feel the relationship itself feels like you could get through anything that comes your way. Okay, because you have your boat, you have each other, you're willing to talk to each other. But most of the talking and decision making appears to be between your person and themselves. You're kind of over here with the blinders on. Okay. So maybe that's one of the aspects of the relationship that um, you're questioning whether you should give up the, that right to have any say in what happens, okay? Maybe you're just going to let them be the decision maker. But you see that they're making their decisions with their heart or more with their um, passion, what they're passionate about, what they're emotionally triggered by, okay, instead of... Um, intellectual. So you're keeping that in mind. Your current energies concerning this relationship, the four of cups, three of swords, and the page of swords. So there is definitely something here that you're refusing to accept. There's heartache here and you're watching and waiting to see how things are going to develop. Yeah, there is definitely, oh, look at this. We have pine cones, all that pine sap that Sage just brought in here. Something is a sticky situation, and it's really, you're very unhappy about this. Very, very unhappy. And I'm actually hearing that you don't see opportunities anymore, okay? You're seeing just, oh, you're seeing three of cups. There could be... Your person could be a little too passionate um, 
with other people. And I don't mean that they're sleeping with other people necessarily. They might be, but I'm just feeling from this that you feel heartbroken that they give so much energy to other people that you may be missing and like blindfully, willfully keeping the blindfolds on. I, I, I don't know how else to put that. Let's see what your person's current energy is. Strength card, the Four of Pentacles, and the World card. All right. There's something weird happening here. What is going on? And of course, you can reverse the roles. So if this feels more like your energy and this feels more like your person, feel free to flip-flop the reading, okay? I'm hearing holding back big time. They're keeping secrets from you. They're hiding money. They're they're not all on. Like they say they're all in. They're acting compassionate. They're acting um, strong and brave and, you know, like a leader. But there's something closing out here. And it should be successful, but that's not what I'm getting. It's going to, there's a door closing here, but I think it's your door. I think, I think you're going to be losing out on something. You've got the Queen of Cups. So we've got the King and Queen. They've got the Knight of Cups. And then between the two of you, the Wheel of Fortune. This is going to be a gamble because this person's focusing on themselves. What they want, what they need, that's what they're focused on. Okay, they're holding back. They're not even giving you emotionally what you want. You are over here feeling very emotional, unstable, insecure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a gamble. Whatever this usually the wheel of fortune feels like a, a um lucky, you know, but this this is screaming. This relationship will be a gamble. Okay, it's going to be a risk. Because this person is completely focusing on what they want, what they desire. And they're not letting you in. Emotionally, they're not actual, actually letting you in. They're, they're showing passion, but not necessarily um, stability. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, near future energy is on your part. you got the Queen of Cups again. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. And at both people in these cards, everything's facing this way. This Queen of Cups, she's looking into the cups and her cup and she sees all this turbulent water around her. She's got mermaid scales on this cloak. And to me, I'm hearing from spirit that she is dreaming of just going back into the ocean and being healed and refreshed and going back to her old life of being a beautiful mermaid, happy and content. I'm feeling that this crown has become very, very heavy for her. All right. She's looking for she, the queen of cups here. You may be looking for a passionate new start. Um, maybe looking for a new home, looking for a new life, looking for a fresh start, or maybe you're looking for the passion to bloom between the two of you. I'm not getting passion. I, I don't know what I'm feeling here. I'm not feeling love on your person's part. Okay. Self-love, self-interest, but you, you're looking for passion, um, a blossoming of emotions but here we have um, a page of pentacles. And I'm getting that this is you and your inner child looking at this and saying, you know what? I need something stable to build from. And you're looking towards the past. Anytime characters look that way, it's the past. Anytime anyone's looking that way, it's towards the future. If they're looking at us directly, like right here, it's right now. OK, and your person in the current energy is looking directly at us, focusing on themselves, holding back, controlling everything. 
This is focusing on them in the future, what they want, their cup of love, okay? They want to close some sort of door here and some sort of cycle. Let's see what your person's near future energy is. We have the Knight of Cups, again, focusing on themselves. We got the Page of Pentacles, and they're facing two different ways. So you both have it in this future energy. Oh, and justice in reverse. So there is definitely an imbalance here. Your person is definitely focused on themselves, what they want. You know, oof. All right, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. They've got the Five of Swords. And you, oh, between the two of you, you've got the Chariot. You're going to end up, um, this relationship looks like it's going to go in two separate directions. Mainly because you're leaving your person out in, the, uh, out in the cold here. They're too challenging. All they want is what they want, okay? You're not going to put, tolerate that. You've been like, you know what? I've been offering this to you for a very, very long time. I've put every effort I could into this. I'm not doing it anymore, okay? You're always focused on yourself. All you want is to offer these tiny little moments, okay? There is no balance here. There is no justice. There's no fairness. There's no equality here. Um, and you, because this is facing towards you, okay? This is you in this reading, you made up your mind you're leaving this relationship. You're clear. You've got the white, okay? You see clearly that you need to go in a different direction here. I think whatever it was that you might have had to have given up, I think you were giving up a lot of yourself is what I'm hearing. You would have been giving up a lot of yourself. You would have continued to be in heartbreak. And maybe, you know, like I said, it may not even be that they're cheating or doing anything really bad but they are focused on themselves it's all about them like what they want the burdens they're carrying you have no burdens what do you mean i'm the one carrying all the burdens i feel a very self-centered person who has I, i'm definitely getting that they have been hurt in the past and that they've got their walls up and it's going to be their way or the highway that's just the way the relationship is going to keep progressing i i see you trying to reach out to them okay several times trying to keep the relationship going but in the near future i i don't see it continuing i see you changing directions and i get that your person's going to do something really really nasty here soon and this is just going to be the final straw for you and you're going to be like out of here quickly too you may be physically moving out of your out of the place that you live with this person. You may be moving out of this town or mentally moving away from this person and having nothing more to do with them. Even if you had to live in the same household, you are mentally broke from them. You are not going to let what they say or do affect you in any way, shape, or form. This really bugs me that we're getting so many negative um you and them readings lately you guys used to have beautiful relationships but now i don't know i don't know what's happening i think libras are standing up for themselves after years of not good things happening let's see what spirit wants to give you using the enchanted map or oracle map message <laughs> let's see if we can get you um, some positive direction what can help what can you know and you have this message here so you can decide for yourself if you want to put any more effort in or not um, maybe there's a message here on what, something you can focus on to help your person but I'm not seeing that person changing there's just such an imbalance they're so I'm getting they're so damaged from their past relationship and they haven't healed yet and you should not ever surrender yourself to that. And I got to point out, we've got red, 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 and red. It's like an X. X marks the spot. Don't do this. Don't go there with a heartache right in the middle of it. All right. 45, sad embrace. And we've got 36, commitment. All right, so we have three, four, five, six. 
or a nine and nine if you want to look at it that way. And a nine, Stormfields. And another nine. And we're stopping right here. So let's go with uh, Storm Clouds. Spirit says, this too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you at this time. Things that maybe you've left unattended to may be the cause of some sort of conflict. Pent-up energy needs to be released, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates um, temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive, though. Rather, they, they can serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and your person might benefit you later. Does not mean staying with them benefits you later. Whatever is being stirred up, whatever you're coming to realize, whatever truth you're coming to understand, okay, may benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid if things get shaken up a little bit. All right. By the way, 999, that is release. It's time to let go of those things that no longer serve you. All right. So keep that in mind. 45 says, sad embrace. Loss is a part of life. Let go and allow yourself time to heal. You may be entering into a period where loss is a theme. Perhaps you're having to let go of a long cherished dream or a relationship. If so, take heart for this ending may have been for your highest good. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept this loss. See, that's the problem with your person over here. They cannot accept their past loss. And they're so afraid that the new person, you, is going to hurt them, that they're acting from a place of loss, from a place of pain. And they're going to try to control the situation, okay? And only focus on what makes them happy. That's it. Relationships based on faulty foundations are meant to end at this time. Disappointment is a form of perception. If your expectations were not met, a sense of loss arises, along with sadness and grief, okay? Sadness and grief, both of them right there. Express these emotions, feel them, look at them, deal with them so that you can move past them. Tears are, um, tears are like healing rain that can restore life to a parched inner landscape. Growth is assured, okay? Anytime that you have um, an ending, growth is assured. Whatever the loss is, however great it is, let it go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see the beauty that lies ahead of you. Okay, something better will come in here for you. Let's see what 36 says. And notice where 36 is right next to the justice that's in reverse. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This might have been a good time for this person to, to make one. Partnerships are formed and should be harmonious and powerful. You've got a new relationship coming in here. The commitment card indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphys metaphorical ending. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you are committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. All right. You may be walking into a commitment or contract that you will later regret. This is not a good time to sign agreements or make any choices that would tie you up for a long period of time. If you are in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment that you desire. 
Don't despair for something much better awaits you. See, if you end this relationship, there's something better for you down the road. Now might also be the time for agreements to be broken. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom and better things later. All right. So there's confirmation that this relationship, I, I don't get a lot of emotional satisfaction. I'm, I'm seeing where it's like, you know, we both know each other. We both know where we're coming from, but you're not happy. You're putting aside your feelings, the, your desires, what you want. I'm also hearing that you can't even speak up. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's see what Spirit has to say using the Romance Angels. Oracle messages here. Spirit, do you have any messages for these people? My lovely Libras, cross watchers, or channel fans concerning this particular relationship. What would you like them to know? Release your ex and see. That's a major theme over here with this person. Okay, and it, it's for you too. Spirit said this is for both of you. You need to release your person that you're currently with. Okay, this would be your ex. Um, and your person here needs to literally release their ex. All right, anything else using the uh, romance angels? Two more shuffles, please. Love yourself first. And, there, yeah, this is a codependent relationship. And there is attraction here, okay? But it says you attract romantic love by enjoying yourself fully in the, in the moment. Okay, so that's your future. That's, that's something else coming in here for you. All right, so let's see what we have for angel answers. See what messages Spirit would like to give you using the angel answer oracle messages here. But don't forget to give the message a thumbs up, tickle tap, or boop the like button if it's resonating. Um, drop a comment if you're going through anything like this. Don't tell us your whole story, okay? But you can say, yep. That makes sense. I'm feeling that. I hear you. It's resonating. Um, your first answer says within the next few months. Okay. And I am hearing that there will be a change in this situation within the next few months. I'm also hearing that this new person that's coming in for some of you will be coming in in the next few months. Somebody's traveling to a place... You're going to go travel somewhere, and it's going to be um, a national monument. Some sort of national monument, some sort of historical, um, what, wherever you're traveling to. This may be where you meet this new person, too. Okay, and I get that most of these you people here, whoever this is, you're not married. You're just in a relationship with this person. I am not getting marriage at all. In fact, I'm getting that you both may have been in previous marriages. Um, but this person, yeah, like they have to have a person on their arm just for um, looks, appearances. You know, like I need somebody to take care of me. That uh, Okay. Anyways, so meeting somebody new in a few months could bolster your um, self-confidence here too. Anything else using the... Angel answer oracle messages here, spirit. Anything else? Two more shuffles, please. Nope, nothing else. So within the next few months, somebody will be traveling and uh, maybe meeting their new person. Or this relationship will be over in the next few months. Using the Kipper. Oh, we're going to start with the uh, Lenormand. Let's see what spirit has to say. Stay true to yourself. That's the, the compass card there, okay? It's time to wake up to your higher spiritual truth. And you've got, you've, you know, you know, you've got the blinders on. Take them off is what Spirit's saying. And this person just leaves you feeling confused. Look, 42, 43. You feel like you're in a maze with this person. Like, 
what direction am I going in? I don't know where, you know, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, there's um, definitely a mountain to climb here. Okay. So we've got 42... 21, 43, so you're definitely 42, 40 through, 42, 43. Um, there's something about that, 21. Um, and notice these are all encompassing. So that would be like <clears throat> an ace. I'm getting chariot energy off of this compass, changing directions, and off of the maze, I'm getting like eight of cup, but we've got eight of um, clubs here, which is the wands. Seven of cups, seven of cups, confusion, seven, seven of cups. Yeah, confusion, just you know, like, hello, what's going on here? You know, I don't, this doesn't feel right. It doesn't make sense. Somebody's wearing a mask. All right, just stay true to yourself. You know who you are. Don't give up your rights. Don't give up things that you desire in life. All right. We've got uh, 29, the main female, the ace of um, swords, queen of swords, okay, or ace of swords, the truth. Being in alignment with the truth about your love relationship. Look at this. This is like the Queen of Cups energy here too. Okay. And then we have another seven here. Um, King of Pentacles, which you've got the King of Pentacles. You've got abundance. You've got happiness. You've got joy because you're in alignment. You see, you have taken the blinders off and you see what's happening here. Let's see what spirit would like to tell you using the uh, Kipper deck. Whoa. Okay, so you thought this was going to lead to marriage. We have sudden wealth and bad health. 31 and 11. 11 goes with you focusing on yourself. Your sudden wealth could be financial because you've got the King of Pentacles here twice. Okay, you got a King of Pentacles here and King of Pentacles here. I'm hearing that you will be better off without this person. Okay, you will be more stable, financially better off, emotionally stable. Um, yeah, definitely better things, more abundant. Things will go better for you. You're, you're like in depression. Um, maybe you were hoping for marriage and that just was not going to happen. We, we heard that. Um, somewhere in here. I think it was in these cards. Okay. I hit the deck upside down. Anything else here, Spirit? Two more shuffles. Boy, I just got really, really hot and humid. We've been having a storm weather. Blustery, but nothing has come down yet. And it's been overcast all day. But it's supposed to rain all weekend. All right, let us see. Spirit wants to give you an astrology message. Whew. This is overwhelming. This is like feeling, that's how I feel, like I want to swoon. House seven, profound relationships, your intimacy, and your romantic partnerships. That's what this is all focusing on right now, okay? And that is what uh, Spirit wants you to focus on. Uh, house seven, one, two. Six, that's Libra. This is your house, okay? So this is all about you focusing on your relationships, those that mean something to you, your intimacy and your romantic partnerships. Anything else here, Spirit? Using the astrology cards. One more shuffle. We've got the sun. Self-express and embody truth. Stay true to yourself. You know who you are. Okay? 
Um, the truth is going to come out. There will be honesty. You are destined to have the truth. You are destined to have the truth. All right. So it's going to come out. You're going to come to some sort of realization or whatever the situation is for you. Okay. You will find the truth here. Oh, my goodness. All right. What is it Spirit wants to give you now? Um, we're going to move on and do three yes or no answers, and then I'm going to do the letter die. Okay. All right. One through um, five on the number die is a no answer. Wow. Am I really like frazzled right now or what? Okay. One through five is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes answer. If I get a message with this, I will tell you, okay? You can take any part of this as your answer to your personal yes or no question. If you do not want to participate, that's fine. You do not have to in any portion of any reading. All right, so answer number one, yes or no, is a yes, but I do see something has to change. Answer number two, that's a yes, that's a yes. Answer number three is a no. There is a major burden to put down here. Okay, so we're going to roll these letter die. Okay, if, if you're new here, which I've had a few people asking me what this means, any, anything that I call out, Spirit is giving to me, I'm seeing the words, I'm hearing the words, I'm smelling smells, I'm hearing sounds, whatever, okay? If it makes, if it clicks with you, that means you need to pay attention, that there's some sort of message in this message for you, okay? So that's what that means. All right, take it as it resonates, and if nothing makes any sense to you, it's just not meant for you at this time, okay? All right, love you guys. First alphabet letter. Roxanne, Rosie, Rosin, New Zealand, Expatriate, um, Worry, all right, next one. Is a wild, I will re-roll that. But what I'm getting right now is Jill. Jacket. Beckett. A bucket. Delia. Civic. Bucky. CJ, Lance, and Mike. Oh, Mickey, too. All right. TJ, my daughter's nickname. Um, Tucker, Juvenile, Delta. BJ, Cover, Cucumber, Zucker, um, I can't quite hear that, I can't hear it, I'm sorry, Katara, Tina and Trinity. All right, it's another wild. I'll re-roll this one too, but I've got coming through. Hannah. Johanna. Johannesburg. Cake. View. Vixen. Jin, J-I-N-N, -N. John, 
Bon Jovi, Habit, Vacate, Kevin, Javelin, Neva. Okay, next one. Another wild. So there's a big mystery here, okay? We have West Virginia, Vesuvius, TV, Johan, what? But somebody spells what? W-U-T? What? Like what's up? Actually, the W-U-T-Z. Somebody uses that. <clears throat> uh, Joplin? Thou? T-H-O-U-E? Thou? Vince, whoa, that one went off the table, so off the charts. All right, another wild surrounding a T, so something's wild. Um, T, but it's like T I T, Tia, T, Tick, Tidal, T I D A L, um, Kiki. JJCC, Debbie, Caleb, Milked, somebody milked, M I L K E D, DJ. I'm hearing that as a name, but it can also be a music DJ or something like that. And KC. All right, I'm going to roll all four of these at the same time. <clears throat> Vicky, Bovine, Beverly, Becky, KJ, Kick, Hogan, MJ, MU. Duck, Wagon, Wiccan, Baba, like B-A-B-A, -B -A, Baba, Clute, C-L-U-T-E, Clute. Claxon, C L A X E N, Claxon, Jickery, and Hobo, Howard, Ha Ha. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. All right, guys. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.